Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sister Gaming with D. But I want y'all to let me know if y'all want me to make cooking videos again. Uh, you know, usually I make gaming videos. So today, uh, we're going to be cooking some smothered pork chops and smoked sausage over rice. So, I got all my pork chops right here. And this is definitely going to be a frugal meal. I mixed them up. I got some thick ones in there and I got some small ones in there. So, we are going to season our meat. Let me turn y'all. For full a little bit. Okay, so. So I'm finna season my meat up with the seasoning, seasoning salt. I don't really have a specific seasoning salt I use. That was just really and cheap and on sale. Anywhere in seconds. Got some paprika. And it's really just for coloring. It's not really going to have a flavor to it. I got two different types of adobo. I got the lemon and pepper adobo. Add some of that in there. And then I got the butter orange. Uh, adobo. Add some of that. I got some regular lemon and pepper. Not too much of that. And then I got some garlic powder. I'm definitely out of onion powder. I got some cilantro flakes. Cilantro is good with lemon, so. Then, I'm going to add a little bit of this kosher salt. It's coarse ground. I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, oil to my skillet right here. Just shallow oil, just enough to brown the meat up. And then I have these seasonings. Uh, that's going to go into my gravy. I have that. I have the chicken bouillon. I got some sazon. Uh, some cornstarch. And some celery salt that's going to go into my gravy. As well as some carrots right here. So, while this oil heat up, I'm going to go ahead and mix up these seasonings on this meat. I think I want to go back to cooking videos. Let me know what y'all think, if y'all think that that's a good idea. Or do y'all want to see me stick to the gaming videos? I'm not going to lie, I do miss cooking for y'all. So... This is just how I've been cooking for my family since the quarantine. How are y'all feeling through this tough time and uncertainty? And uh, what are y'all doing to go get through it? You know? So, season, let me wash my hands real quick. Also, in the same heat. Um, I think I have some other seasonings that I'm going to add to it as well. Let me see if it's hot. Yeah, we hot. So with these pork chops that uh, we're cooking up, I'm going to need to change my pan. Hold on a minute, y'all. I'm gonna wash my hands. Tell me. Tell me, y'all. That bad performance is a John Deere power set. Give me a pot, baby, because I'm still ain't big enough. 
you got to have solid trackability. I can make you that photo. It's all about it. Oh, that's it. Like, they, you know, like, you took this out and you know, I had to make the wire on that. And still, you know, they were just after what I had to do. And the thing is, they don't have any good roads. It's really good wood. And just trying to put the best work on it. And, and I think, I think I saw my phone no. on there. And the parents were kind of showing me up to this. But it was just, um, I got a really sad stuff. I'm like, all right, just keep going. And it stopped it up. So I kept going. And it came off. And it was like, get down. So, so I started running away. So I'm going to change this out real quick. Let's play. Big win for me. I'm going to move this pot over here. Put my pot right here. I'm going to go ahead and let uh all the water, because I rinsed the pot out, let all the water out. And then I'm going to go and pour the hot grease over here. And I got my carrots right here, ready to go for the gravy. If you're gonna go 40, take it from me. Frank Thomas. Just waiting for the uh the water to get about this pot. The key ingredient in Nugenics is clinically researched and totally worked. That's why Nugenics is the number one seller free testosterone booster at GNC. Hey buddy, check it out. My workout's a lot better. I am also watching TV in my kitchen. I'm back to be in the big hurt. See. You still don't believe me? Just sit and take a complimentary bar. Come on. Stuck Come on, brain. water. That's right. Time to pour that out. Here. Hey, trust me. She'll make a difference, too. Hey, guys. It's Let me turn this TV in. down. To get your complimentary bottle of award winning eugenics, text new to 369 369. Okay. So. Text so. I'm going to go ahead and take a push out back out. And that all. That pot just. It wasn't big enough for what I needed. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. So it can fry up real good. So we're going to let that heat up. I'll be back. Okay, so I put my last pork chops in the pot. I'm gonna put all the seasonings from the bowl in the pot too. And these are the ones that came out, but they're not done yet. So, um, I don't cook them all the way through until they go back in the gravy. So, um, I'll be back when these are done okay so the meat is done so the meat is done and i'm gonna go ahead and add my carrots And I'm gonna let them cook up a little bit. I'm gonna go get my rice. I'm going to go ahead and add my rice to my pan right now. I'm going to add some water. 
Now I do not rinse my rice at all. Now to my rice, I'm going to add salt. And I'm going to go in and add some butter. And I add a heaping tip, like spoon. And I'm going to also add some to this gravy. Turn that rice on. I'm going to go ahead and add my top. And then that's going to cook. Stir up these carrots. The carrots is going to get us some added flavor. And then this is the cornstarch I use. Which I'm going to eyeball it, but if you're trying to make the amount of pork chops I'm making, which is this much, uh -huh, uh, you're going to need about four to five tablespoons of cornstarch. And, the, and I do mean, like, actual Like this phone. Yeah. Five, four, five, maybe six. You know, be generous with your gravy. So, I'm going to go ahead and add that in now. Be generous. Now, let's mix this up. You can use flour, too. But, I use cornstarch because it's easier. And, it don't have that flour taste to it. So you don't really get all the flavors of the meat with the cornstarch versus the flour. And you gotta brown it and all that. Don't nobody got time for that. Scraping up my pot. Sorry for the noise. So. I'm just gonna move that around. Don't let it stay uh, sitting too long because it will burn. Okay. Now it's time to add our liquid. So we're gonna add our liquid to this. Like so, and we're going to stir as we go, okay? You want to get up all them little bits on the bottom. Keep adding your liquid because if you don't, it's going to get thick and lump up on you. If I had some chicken broth, I would have added that, but I don't. Go ahead and keep adding that water. You want to keep on stirring. Thank you. 
keep stirring it up. I don't want to get any lumps out that's up in here. I'm just getting out all the uh, floating fat. Even though it's good, but the pork chops already have a lot of fat on them. And it's just the fat that I cooked off on the pork chop. You know that white stuff, I'm just taking that off. Now we're gonna finish adding our liquid. And I think that might be enough. Okay. So now we're going to add some more seasoning to this. Some bubble. And my celery salt. I'm going to add two sazon packets to this Goya. And I think I'm going to add a ham. Okay, last one, hand packet. That's going to bring out that good pork flavor. Add in some chicken bouillon powder. All right. Some sturdy seasonings up in here. Mmm, this smells so good. So good. Now we're gonna let this boil up, and I'll be back. Okay, so my gravy got thick, my meat is in here, and uh, I just added my uh, my smoked sausages to it. It's gonna be so good, y'all. So, let's go ahead and stir the bottom because we don't want it to get too thick and burn. So, I'm gonna let that cook on low. And then, I got my collards here with my pork. So, I'm gonna put them on. My rice is cooking. And um, I added the, one of the pork chops to my collard greens. Cook. I'm going to add me a little garlic powder to my collard greens and uh, 
some adobo. That's it. It really don't need too much seasoning. I'm gonna add some liquid. But not much, not much liquid. And I'll be back when everything is close to being done or done. Okay, so the food is done. I'm gonna turn this off and then let's go ahead and plate it up. Now, if it, the water looks a little watery, that's because it's got a lot of butter in it. So, got our rice. Like that. Let's get one of these pork chops up on here. Some of these smoked sausages. Get another spoon for the gravy. Just like that. Get some of these collard greens. And there you guys have it. We got rice with pork chops and gravy and smoked sausage and collard greens with pork chops. If y'all like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Do you guys want to see more cooking videos on this channel or should I say back to cooking videos or keep the gaming channel going? I miss cooking for y'all so let me know and make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss a, uh, any videos. I got a big grocery haul coming up as well so stay tuned for that.